You guys, are you willing to fight for your people's future? Yes. 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 This is the big one. A lot of you guys, I don't fucking hear you fighting for your people's future on the phone. Okay, when I just told that guy, with the absolute truth, the reason why our company is scaling and growing is because we believe in something called the truth. The reason why our company has scaled and grown faster than anyone else in the world, right? Sorry, don't need to clear that. You guys got close to that stuff. They got a time share. <laughs> Remember the number one rule of selling. When the client knows that you care more about them than they care about themselves, they'll make a decision with you. And not until then. Dedication, hard work, prayers, and belief. That's what we bring here at the Elliott Group. Let's go, baby. Think that the workload is difficult because it's boxes, but those cameras are heavy, dude. That's As nice. you should see, if you could flip this camera around and actually see the gun show that's behind the lens. Woo! Sheesh! Most of you guys won't even spend any money. Oh, I need my content, need my content, need my content. You'll spend money on all the bullshit, all the cars, the shoes, the watches. You won't spend money on the camera. You won't spend money on social media. You keep posting, but you're not going to upgrade your game. You're wondering why your business isn't exploding. <laughs> You're not exploding your fucking effort. Your effort is low level. That's why your results are low level. That's why you're not getting high level results. There's, there, there's no high level connection. There's no high level content. There's no high level shit. There's no high level money in the air. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Get you some, get you some brothers around you that just throw money on you when you're spitting game. All right, guys. Before you close a big deal like I just did, we ring the bell. Let's go, baby. You gotta put yourself in state. Right? So I got three power moves. Yes, puts you in state. So what does Michael Jordan do every time he makes a basket? Yes! Hey, people might look at you like you're a goof, but guess what? First off, I am a goof. Secondly, it puts you in state. So I'll do the Conor McGregor walk. Yes! Just feeling yourself. And then Ronaldo, baby. Yes! Put yourself in state. Let's go! That's <laughs> mode with a D. Operational mode. Operational mode. You can write that down if you want. Your operational mode is who you are right now. How you act, how you run, how you think, how you process, how you deal with stress, the things you're doing in your life, that's your operational mode, that's your standard. Uh, habitual, right. it's habit. The Elliott Group requires something like this, which is called scale. And then the Elliott Group is also aware of upper limits. Upper limits. Upper limits are pressure and stress you're applying to yourself above your operational mode that get you to quit. What happens if you start pushing towards an upper limit you tell yourself this vision, you do it for a period of time, you hit that upper limit, and then you stop doing it. Subconsciously, the bitch voice starts calling you out, right? You ever been through that? I've been through that. The bitch voice starts calling you out, you backslide. That's real. So, once you get the upper limit, we have to push together as a team. Find a new perspective on the other side of these limits. Because if you do not do that and evolve in this company, your mind is going to fuck with you. Because you're going to judge him, and he's scaling, and he's scaling, and he's scaling, and you're like, oh, oh man, mm, what, what's going on? I don't get it. No, dude, get up an hour earlier. Read, run, work out, change your diet. Don't party. Push through these upper limits as a team and as a company, because we've got you back for lives. It's Freaky Friday. Let's go war. Freaky Friday. Why are you going to win? Because I demand it. I demand it. Mike, why are you going to win? Because they have no choice. Jacob? What are we gonna win? It's Kobe Bumps. Do we demand it? Huh? Melanie? What? What's the question? Why are we gonna win? Cause it's the standard! Freaky Friday, 9 a.m. Be there or be square. If you need the link, DM Sean, DM me, DM your coach. It's gonna be crazy. We're bringing the heat, baby. We got some special treats for you guys. Come on. I love it when people actually study and train and take action. And I love getting texts from people saying, Hey Ryan, I just closed this deal because I used this technique or, you know, that call you did on Friday gave me a little confidence. You know the drill. Get yourself a pen and a piece of paper for the love of God. If you are not writing things down, I am going to fly out to wherever you're at and I'm going to put you in a freaking headlock and my biceps are growing like crazy. I'm on a 16 week program that we're doing a lot of research, if you know what I mean. We're, we're put on some side. That's what happens when you're trying to get the elderly group together. Everything's all fucked up. Yeah, I told Cole to come, but he had a bunch of meetings. He said he had booked up. No, f it, dude. It was just Jesse's idea. Like, half people f backed out, and then Maria and f Bryson overslept. Jesse's f not picking up his f phone. Tommy called me and said that his f back hurts. I was like, what's going on, bro? So it's literally two, four, six, seven. We got like seven of us right now, but Maria and Bryce are on the way. Like, yeah. Don't get stopped in the same place and try to stay out of the middle because the idea is you're not shooting up and down, you're shooting like this. 
Like one team's right shooting left, one team's left shooting right. That's basically what we got going on. We got our Elliott Tactical Team Coordinator giving us a rundown of the play. How many people don't, don't get, listen don't to the play of what they're supposed to like run from their leader? Listen, the reason why we're going to be dangerous in this game is because we got one mission. We got one mission, and that's all we're going to do is just roll hard on that mission. We're going to screw these guys up. Woo! Just like in sales, baby. Our goal is to get up to that next house over there. So, like, let's get up to here, and then let's get up to that house in the middle of the field and draw the middle of the line. Let's go, baby. Elliot Mother Army. Let's go. To flank out, me and Tommy will stick right and just hold, and let's stay relatively, like, tight to where we know where everyone's at. Fun bit pop in your elbow. We didn't lose one man on that mission, and I'm gonna tell you, we got a good old leader in Jonathan Roberts out here. We had a good game plan going into the deal, Woo! and we just straight kiboshed him. We didn't lose one guy. They had to respond two separate times each player, so we killed him eight times. Let's go. Hey, that's basically like winning a football game 58 to zero. A little elbow action. Right here, here, right here, and right here, my legs. Taking them like Scarface, baby. Listen, I haven't been hit one time. I'm just telling you. Other than Danny Klein, I was on his team and he shot me three times in the face. That's some bullshit. It's probably because I beat him in Rev last month, so he fucking wanted to just make sure he hit. It's from that deal in 2019 that he tried to split. I'm feeling it. Yeah. That's like, you know, he's got that girl brain where he's thinking like, oh, you did this into me in 2019. Wow. That's real Jalen after that deal, dude. Hey, me and Ian were so pissed, bro. We were, it was like a thousand dollar ticket, bro. Well, we used to not have like any big deals, and so like, you know, we'd come across each other's big deals, we'd be like, oh, you know, we'd, we'd hit each other's big deals, and we didn't want to kill each other. That was, that was incredibly smooth, surprise Danny wouldn't have done that unless his content team was here, because, you know, Danny's all about the content. See, see what happened is Danny if, needs cameras on him. Whatever you can do. Danny needs pressure. cameras on him because like the first three the there's no cameras, and so we just destroyed his. But you put three cameras and he's doing backflips, jumping over things. He's going back to his COD days and shit. Yeah. yeah. And the only way you know how to do that is because you've been playing video games. So I'm telling Andy you've been playing video games. You know, he probably jumped up on the barrel and went like this too. Yep. Fixed my fucking hair. I was like, I feel him. I I peaked in slow mo. I was like, I could really feel him though. Oh, that was happy.